Hello everyone out there, this is Criminal Regret, but um, lately I changed my name to uh, Gun Sauce, which I like, like it much better, so add me on Steam underneath Gun Sauce, please, and, and especially if you play Team Fortress 2. So, now I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make either Gary's Mod maps or Team Fortress 2 maps. So, so first of all, what you need is go to Steam, Library, Tools. Look down for the source SDK. Here. Let's see where did it come on? Focus. Yeah, source SDK. And then you just install it. It's easy it's a really, really good program, so double click and run. Now there are a lot of tutorials online on how to make Maps, Gary's mod maps are generally easy to make because all you need is like a place for someone to spawn and just to make a map. But um, if you want to find some tutorials, you go to YouTube and type in and type in PH4T3, and this person has a whole bunch of very great <laughs> tutorial on Hammer. On, which is the program that we're going to use that shows you how to do these things. It's really useful. So now we have this. Yeah, you come up with this window, and um, you click on the top, which is Hammer Editor, and make sure that you have Team Fortress 2 or Gary's Mod selected. You know, either one. Right now, I'm going to start with uh, Team Fortress 2. So you can just double click on it, and it'll open up. You'll see the screen, and Hammer is a very simple to use tool once you get used to it. So what you do is you go to File, New, and then you come up with this screen. This, this is the top view of it, this is the side view, and this is the front view of whatever you're doing. So like if you want to make, so say if you want to make a platform, there's a tool right over here called the Block Tool. Click on it, and then you click on, and then you just hold and drag it out to make a square. Then you leave it there, and if you if it's the right size that you want it, you know, because like if you want a platform, you right click on it, click the only option there, which is create object, and whatever texture you have selected here, it'll be that texture. For example, let me show you, right there, and it's red because it's selected. See, so there's a select tool, and you just click away, and you have the regular texture. Ta-da! So. Yeah, and the way you change what color this is, you go to um, changing one side. So you just click on one of these and then browse for these, browse for the textures. Like I want to make it bricks, double click on bricks and apply. And there you go. But if you want to make it a whole whole one texture, you click on something like you know bricks again, and you click this tool. Well, yeah, this tool, and then it just colors it all. So there you go. Now, if you want to make a quick Gary's Mod map, okay, a couple things to keep in mind. A, by click, you need to make a place for the person to spawn. So by clicking on this tool right over here called the Entity Tool, you can just click anywhere and a little person, and you'll see a little person pop up. And the coolest thing about this little person, he's wearing Gordon Freeman's glasses and you know goatee thing, you know, and his soul patch, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's my favorite part about this this program. So anyway, there's the spawn where the player's going to pop up, and another thing to remember about this, about making a map, is that your map needs to be airtight. You can't be a single hole in it, otherwise the entire map is going to flood itself with, you know, missing skyboxes and everything. So it has to be airtight. And so say, say you want to, I don't know, make a skybox around it, so you... you Create the box, you make it big, and I like to have huge skyboxes just for the heck of it. And I'd show you, and I show you how to make the invisible, the like the invisible wall that most players run into, but it'd probably be a little bit pointless right now. So yeah, I have that, and you right-click, create object, and then you select it, and click on make hollow. Now the default is set to. 32, but I like to use it with 16 because it's really easy to work with there. 
So there you go. Now you have this solid little paradise where your person can be. So now, theoretically, you can run your map now. And um, to, yeah, and you just click on, and I'm going to install a skybox in here, so I click on, click on this, then go search for skybox. Just type in S-K-Y-B-O-X. And you'll get a lot of these, but the one you want is farther down at the bottom. Ah. Ah. Well, just tools. Tools will give you tools will give you things like um the aerial port aerial portal, which I'm not gonna cover right now because that that's probably something that fate can do for you. You know, there's a no draw line, no draw thing, which is the invisible wall. And here, here are two sky boxes. For Gary's mod, I'd suggest using the sky, the regular sky box. But for Team Fortress 2, select a 2D sky box. It's a uh, really easy. Then you just hit the texture apply. And I know it doesn't look look, look like much, but right now, but what it really is is it's um. Hold on a second, let me close this. What it is is just a whole bunch of those little squares, squares saying 2D Skybox on it, you know. So, yeah. There you go. And now, theoretically, you can run your map. But where's the fun in this? You know, so it, it all, I, all I can tell you is that it just takes time, you know. You just need to, you know, go through and build every single block and everything. You know, take the time to really study this and, yeah. So, there's your block. You know, and just make whatever you want. For example, I'm going to just type in R O C K rock. Ta da! So now you have your rock. And there's another, my favorite tool of all of these is the carve tool, which is very useful if you're making like, um, like a door. You just do this. And make sure that it's within the parameter there. <laughs> it's kind of a big thing there. Yeah, alright. So you hit enter, which creates the object. Then you go up here, right here. Here, let's see. This, that little doohickey right there, is carve. So once you have, once you hit that, you delete it. And now you have this inset little thing. And whenever and whenever you see this, that's the texture glitch. That's what happens when two different textures on the are on the exact same level. And it can't decide whether to use bricks or rocks, so it just alternates them in between. So the best thing you can do for that is to click on one of these and just make them like a fraction of a hair lower. And if if these if this grid is too big for you, you can just hit the this button up in the corner. I find it really useful, and I think you might too. Let's see, get it to focus right here. This button, click this, and you'll see my things are getting my graph is getting smaller and smaller. So now you can make more precise things or precise boxes and everything. So now you can run you can run your map. So by running your map, you just click this. This is one of the most important little buttons ever. Let's see this button right here run map and you'll see this pop up and that means you have to save it as something I'm not gonna save it right now because that clutters up my thing I only do it when I'm you know serious about it so and then you'll see like this this big window pop up and it has a whole bunch of words on it just wait until like copy the, a button comes up here that says copy the clipboard and once you're done once that's once that comes up, then you can X out of it. So here, I, will, I'll, I might as well show you. Save it as test, save, and then if you want, if you don't want to run your game right after it, it you know finishes compiling and fix itself, uncheck that box. So hit OK. Now you, you see this window pop up, and it's just going through the through everything here. And down here, right here, see, copy the clipboard right there, and that'll that'll take you to, and you just X out of that, and then you start up Team Fortress 2 and play the map.
yeah, that happens with mine a lot. Anyway, if you have any questions, just post them up on the comments page. I can't guarantee you that I'll be able to answer them all, but I can probably give you some references that will be able to answer your questions. So, my name is Gunsauce, Admon Steam. I'll see you guys later.